my loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hi hello my name is Loey and if you follow me on Twitter you know that I am a nervous wreck right now LA is on fire there are fires everywhere so I've been an anxious wreck right and just really throwing myself into vlogmas to kind of keep my mind occupied um, and so today my manager called me and he was like hey so I'll pick you up at 9 and I was like to what to evacuate do I need to get my animals ready like are we going and he's like no for the party we're going to and I was like we're going to a party LA is on fire we're going to a party and we're going to a party apparently no I'm um, kind of a wreck right now I'm really freaked out about the fires here in Los Angeles the area that I'm in has not been evacuated but I have a game plan ready for if I am and if I am I will probably vlog the entire thing and that will be part of vlogmas but today I'm going to a party, so I have to get ready and chill out. Oh my god. I barely left my apartment because the smoke smell is kind of strong depending on like how strong the wind is during that part of the day. I thought I'd do a get ready with me because I want to. I'm going to really quickly show you guys my options for my outfit tonight. The first is this really pretty sequin dress from Boohoo and this is honestly what I'm leaning towards. I just think it's really festive without being like over the top festive and I can't I was gonna wear this the other night and then I didn't go to that event because I've been a nervous wreck because LA's on fire or I have this really cool jumpsuit from Eloqui or Eloqui I don't know how you say it but it's super cute I only wore it for a shoot my stylist got it for me um and I haven't worn it since then so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna wear I think I'm gonna do my makeup and see how I feel but I'm feeling very much so like just kind of a simple sort of festive holiday look so we're just gonna get started I went ahead and primed my face using the it cosmetics bye bye pores primer in all fairness I don't really love this primer it does do a really nice job at blurring but I feel like it just sits on top of my skin and I have such dry skin that almost never happens but what I do like it for is a mineral or a powder foundation because I feel like my skin Skin is so dry that I really don't wear powdery foundations very frequently um, but this almost leaves like a barrier between my skin and the foundation so this is in the color fairly light it's from bare minerals this is our holiday package from last year but before I do that I'm gonna give the primer another second to set in I'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate my lips because I'm doing a red lip tonight this is from pixie it's their nourishing lip polish and all you do is like get out some of the little serum stuff and you basically just go around your lips like this and then the serum you can leave on, but I just feel like it's gross to not wipe off your lips. Hi, guinea pigs. After you exfoliate, so I'm gonna do that. You've been so talkative recently. I don't know what's going on. I'm also just gonna put on a little bit of lip balm. I'm using Carmex because it's what's closest. So since I'm using a powder foundation, I'm gonna do my concealer first. This is uh, the Maybelline. I was about to say Rimmel, but it's Maybelline's instant age rewind and it looks a crazy town right now it really is good at combating dark circles i also have the naked skin concealer from urban decay in the shade fair so i'm just gonna kind of lightly do that and i'm not gonna highlight because it'll just get lost under the foundation anyways the bare minerals foundation has a bit of like a luminousness to it so i feel like i don't even necessarily need to brighten my face but i do always always need to conceal under my eyes now that i look absolutely ridiculous i mean i really didn't even blend in the concealer that well but it's just because i'm going to go over it with foundation anyways so i'm using the foundation and i'm using a morphe m439 brush and i'm basically just going to blend this into the skin um there's no real reason i'm using this foundation i mean it kind of saves some time it's so much easier to blend than a liquid. I honestly just really like the coverage though. And I always have liked the coverage of this foundation. I just remembered recently how much I like it. Some of you may think this is bizarre, but I always do feel like I need to set this foundation, even though it's a powder foundation. First and foremost, I'm gonna quickly prime the eyes before I do so, just using Sin Primer Potion from Urban Decay. This is gonna be a really solid base for not a minimal eye look, because there's still a lot of work being put in, but more of a simplistic eye look. You guys, you know what I have a weird, I mean genuinely strange craving for today? 
that I never crave is Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Where is there a Cracker Barrel in Los Angeles? Let me know. So I was gonna get ready earlier. Um, I have to be at the party in about two hours, which is a pretty good amount of time to get ready. I mean, I'm not, like my hair is already pretty curled. I'm just gonna do something with it. I did this with a flat iron, by the way. I never do flat iron curls, but um, I wanna film some before the party. But I've been watching gameplay videos of Five Nights at Freddy's 6, which I've never really been into playing the Five Nights at Freddy's games myself. But I so enjoy watching like game theory videos on it and I enjoy watching let's plays of it. I just, I don't like playing it. Maybe that's genuinely bizarre, I don't know. Um, so actually, I wanted to show you guys, I've been using this Too Faced Peach Perfect powder down to the last drop. I took out the sifter that was in it. But um, I'm gonna take some of the loose powder, I just got it absolutely everywhere. I'm not going to go crazy with this, I'm just basically going to dab on my face and then sort of blend in. That may seem like overkill, but in all honesty, I feel like this foundation almost turns not liquidy, but like it performs like a liquid once it's like blended in. I just feel like it has to be set. I mean, it's that simple. I don't I don't know why it just does. I'm going to go ahead and apply some bronzer, my Too Faced butter bronzer. I've tried using other bronzers and I just come back to this every single time. After that, I'm gonna go under my jawline and just kind of tap the sides of the cheekbones with this Marc Jacobs contour powder. This is in the Duo Mirage filter. I never really use that yellow powder, but I do love the contour shade. Jumping back to that butter bronzer, I'll take a little bit of this on a fluffy brush and I'll kind of contour my nose. I mostly put product there so it doesn't look totally ridiculous comparatively to the rest of my face. Also, I should probably be pre-gaming with champagne or something for this party, but it's seven o'clock at night and I'm drinking coffee to pre-game. Should we go ahead and just get eyebrows out of the way? I feel like maybe we should. What's in my sweater? Oh good, I got bronze. This is why I didn't wear my dress that I'm gonna wear tonight while I get ready, because I get makeup all over myself. Um, so sometimes I just use the Urban Decay Brow Box. This is the Bathwater Blonde one. It's just eyebrow powders, and sometimes I just use that, but because I'm gonna have such a strong eyeliner and like lashes and stuff tonight, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow in taupe. Do you see this? I'm using it down to the last drop. I'm gonna kind of speed through this and go back to watching people play Five Nights at Freddy's 6. After they're filled in with dip brow, which they currently are, I feel like they look a little intense, so I like to take the brow box from Urban Decay and I'll take that lighter shade and really just work that into the inner corner here. I'll just do one brow so you can really tell the difference. I'll take the darker shade out here on the outermost corner as well. Maybe it's too subtle of a difference to even notice on camera, but in person, I just feel like that brow powder really softens things out. Things are super harsh on my camera right now. My brows kind of look blocky and horrible. I'm hoping it's just like my eyes playing tricks on me and it doesn't look this bad when I edit. So that is the eyebrows done and I'm looking very intense right now. So for blush, since I'm planning on doing a red lip, I'm gonna take Max Gingerly. This palette is so filthy. I clean it like twice a week and it's still covered in crap because I use it so frequently. So we're just gonna pop Gingerly here on the cheeks. For the eyes, I've zoomed you guys in a bit and I'm gonna take this eyeshadow. I'm gonna probably wind up having to write these eyeshadow names out down below since I don't know them by heart and they're obviously like in this palette that I made from MAC. I'm gonna take that on a MAC 217 brush and work that right into the crease. I love the MAC 217 brush. I always kind of um, saw like beauty gurus use it and thought, well, it's fine, but it's like the perfect, perfect crease brush. I feel like it just blends so beautifully 
deposits the perfect amount of color. I'm then gonna take this color. It is the perfect shimmery, like pinky nude kind of shade. I'm just gonna pack this onto my lid. And you literally just have to kind of blend a little bit and you have the most simplistic and gorgeous eye look. We'll also take a bit of the brown that I used in the crease on a smaller brush and just work that right here onto the lower lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some nude eyeliner. This one is from MAC. I'm not even entirely sure of the color because my dogs chewed on this pencil and destroyed half of it, but I think it's in NC20. I'm just gonna pop that right here on the waterline. I'm gonna take my trusty MAC palette and take this nude matte color that I have. And just use this to really, really, really carve out the brow. Moving into the eyeliner, I apologize in advance for my uh, technique in terms of filming this. I always get my like mirror this close to my face. So I'm gonna try really hard not to do that. So I'm weird, you guys know this. I do the liner on my lid and my wing a little bit differently just because I have to have some sort of a felt tip liner for the wing because I feel like it gives me more structure but then I hate felt tip liners on my, you'll understand an execution, there's no point in talking about this for 20 minutes. So I'm using the Too Faced sketch marker in the shade black. We're just basically going to draw from the corner of the eye up towards the brow. This side didn't go on as smoothly as my other side. I really like when it's a little bit rounded up like that, like a very um, kind of like cat eye effect, if that makes any sense. This one's just a little bit too pointed, but basically I'm just gonna go ahead and do the liner on my eyelids to connect. Then once that kind of dries down, I can go in and kind of fix any mistakes with a little bit of makeup remover and a Q-tip. So that is the eyeliner done. And then when I do my lashes, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and use these iconic lashes from House of Lashes. I usually wear these when I do a winged eyeliner just cause they are so crazy. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish up my face makeup. I'm gonna highlight. Recently I've been using this NARS palette pretty frequently and I'll use this color. Oh, by the way, I took this on my finger, this shade right here, and I just sort of popped it right there on the inner corners. But I'm going to take that color and then this sort of um, goldeny color in the middle and I'll mix those two to make my perfect kind of in-between highlight where it's not too stark white but it's not a pure gold either. And I'll use that right here. I'll also pop it right there above the brow, drag it down the nose, I'm right there at the cupid's bow. Maybe a little bit on the chin too. I'll go ahead and set up my brows now with a little bit of clear brow gel from Anastasia. Then this foundation just kind of, for me anyways, it needs a setting spray of some kind. So I went a little bit crazy off camera. I set off my makeup with my Too Faced Hangover Spray and I really like this because I feel like it just like really sets my makeup into place. It gives me a lot of hydration, but it doesn't make me too dewy. And then I finished off with my All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. Then I applied one of my eyelashes just to kind of show you guys the difference because I think that this look is really nice with just plain old mascara, but the lashes are gonna give it something like in your face, you know? As I was recording, I got an alert on my phone saying strong winds overnight creating extreme fire danger. Stay alert listen to authorities. So if I wasn't freaked out before, I sure as heck am now. Anyways, that's it for the lashes. I really like to kind of lift my eyes upwards and my lashes on bottom are naturally very dark. My lashes on top are much more blonde, but I think it's because like there's mascara on them all the time and that's like made them blonde, if that makes sense. Um, my like lower lashes, because I don't touch them, naturally have a bit of darkness to them. So I'm not even gonna put on any mascara um, on the lower lashes. I'm just gonna move on to my lips. My current obsession is this J. Manuel Beauty lip pencil in the shade Bombshell, shade Bombshell. Um, obsessed. I don't know much about this brand. I can only really find it on QVC. I was sent these for PR.
Before I did my lipstick, I wanted to brush my teeth because I've been drinking coffee, so I felt like my tongue was looking a little coffee-esque, and now I feel like it's kind of blue from like my mouthwash. Anyways, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay lipstick in the shade 714. That is the makeup done. So now I'm gonna figure out my hair situation, probably do my nails if I have time and get dressed, and I'll be back to show you guys my final look. I wound up going with this sequin dress. I'm sure that I'll have my manager or somebody at the party take a photo of me, so I'll show you guys my full outfit right here. If I didn't get a photo, then there's nothing here, and this is super awkward, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go, you guys. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed kind of hanging out for a bit and if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!